Last night, musician Anthony Mosberg entertained guests after the Santa arrival parade, of course. This means, yes, the Santa photo set is now open. People can also take carriage rides around the shopping center. Yeah, take a look at that video. Surveillance camera was rolling when heavy ice-coated tree branches came crashing down during yesterday's storm. We saw a lot of that. And fortunately, what you just saw that video did not damage anything, but a lot of the trees that fell fell onto roofs, damaged yeah. homes, damaged cars. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, ice is very scary and yeah. it can be really dangerous. And it was also a good example. I mean, it, thankfully, this wasn't a big impact to the roads. A lot of the roads were slushy and wet. Uh, but just seeing that freezing rain sticking to tree branches and power lines can do that much damage. Uh, definitely one of those big impactful storms here. And, and we're not even in winter yet. Here's how much ice we did get. I just got these reports here. Uh, not much change from what I was showing yesterday. We didn't see a whole lot more ice accumulation once we headed past the morning, uh, but still we got close to almost four tenths of an inch at the Dayton International Airport. Pitchin picked up three point to five inch or point three five, excuse me, inches of ice there. Beaver Creek about a quarter of an inch of ice. So that's definitely enough to be weighing those trees down. And you can see another one of our photos here off in the distance of all of that ice as it encapsulated the tree branches. Now our travel forecast for today. I did elevate us again in the beginning. Uh, for the morning, dealing with freezing drizzle, a few isolated slip spots, and of course the wind being gusty. And even through lunchtime, we're still going to have some stronger wind gusts around as well. Looks a little bit quieter by the time you head home from work. Here's a live look outside. One of our cameras in Urbana. You can still see some uh, droplets here forming with a little bit of that drizzle this morning in Champaign County. You can see the roads there are also still showing more Moisture. We have snow on the cars that are parked outside, and there's still snow accumulation uh, from what we had yesterday on the grass as well. So you do want to be careful still this morning as those temperatures dip below freezing and we have some drizzle, bridges and overpasses again. I don't expect it to be a widespread issue, but Sergeant Mark is going to be keeping an eye on things if we start to notice some slick spots in the Miami Valley developing. Winds are out of the southwest, and they're pretty strong already. They stay uh, pretty strong throughout the first part of our day, 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts eventually starting to relax as we head towards your drive home and then quieter for the evening hours. We do have some breaks in the clouds here or there, but we'll likely stay mostly cloudy for a good chunk of our day. Uh, looking at live Doppler 7 radar, picking up on a little bit of this drizzle here in portions of Clark County Green, and as I showed you on the weather camera, even all the way up towards Champaign. So you do want to be careful this morning. A lot of our road sensors showing that at least on the, some of those roads, we're starting to see temperatures down into the 30s. So again, that could contribute to a few slick spots. The air temperature is down in the 20s in spots like Wilmington, Troy, uh, Belfound, and Eaton. So it's definitely cold for the kids as they have to stand outside this morning. Future cast does break the clouds up a little bit at times throughout the day today, but we'll stay mostly cloudy even as we head towards early evening. Our hourly forecast, we're only going up to about 39, so don't expect another warm-up today. This is well below normal, again, anywhere from about 10 to almost 15 degrees below where we should be. Your weekend forecast, though, at least we get back into the 40s. I think Saturday looks pretty good with some sunshine. We'll track a weak cold front, though, into Sunday, and that could bring a few more showers. We're going to talk a little bit more about that weekend here in just a few minutes. Now we bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's get a check on the roads this morning with Sergeant Mark Sarger. Are you hearing anything? Uh, you know, you mentioned, uh, Christy, just in, uh, in during your report about slick spots, and I did actually pick up some information about this one. I want to pass it along. We have a report that the Main Street Bridge at Riverside Drive, this is in Piqua. They said that bridge is icy. They got a couple of police officers out there actually making sure people can cross that bridge safely. No doubt they've got uh, some salt crews, uh, road crews headed that way. That's the Main Street Bridge in Piqua. We also have a hearing report that there may be a pole down. We're checking on this one at Dorothy Lane at Kettering Boulevard in the city of Kettering. We're still checking on the nature of that one. Also, uh, if you headed out to the freeway, we're watching things closely. Here's Route 35 at Fairfield Road in Beaver Creek. Very light volume on this part of the freeway. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer at WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. It is 521, 31 degrees. Department stores have struggled to keep up with changing shopping habits. Next, the store that could be closing its doors soon. Dayton Fire Police Department held a recruiting event this week. Why they say it helps possible recruits prepare for the job. A Christmas 
story turns 35, our Friday flashback with the cast. Now tell me that I'm going to shoot my eye out. Thanks, BT. Tonight at 7.30 on Channel 7.